I've got just one day to hit the bike park today. Now, it's gonna be really hard to hit all the trails and FOMO's definitely a thing. I don't really wanna miss anything, but it got me thinking, what is the best way of hitting the bike park and making the most of it? We're on our way to Flims for first lift and it got me thinking, an experiment is needed for all you guys and girls out there. I'm willing to sacrifice myself. So today I'm gonna to pit normal bike against e-bike. Like I said, we'll head over to Flims and see what we can get the most runs in on. So, to first lift. Thanks to Larks for inviting us over, I'm gonna hit some of Switzerland's finest. Ribbons of prime single track and unbelievable bike park trails, accessible either by chairlift or today with a little e-bike power. And I can't wait to pit them against each other and see which one is gonna come out on top. Wow, early bird catches a worm. There's not even anyone here yet. Things are only just opening, so I'm not even sure the lift is open. So I think we've got time for a quick bit of breakfast and then we'll charge some runs. Nestled in the Swiss Alps, this gem of a resort should have everything I need, both on and off the bike for this challenge. With over 330 kilometers of mountain bike trails and three pump tracks, one even at the top of the mountain. It's got something for the adult and the kid side of everyone. The challenge itself then, splitting the day in half, one half for the e-bike and the other for a normal bike. Using a combination of lifts and pedaling on the normal bike, I'm gonna see if I can get in more bike time than just an e-bike with no lift at all. Should be a tough one and I can't wait to see which is gonna come out on top. All right, let's do this. I've made it to the chair, the Fopper chair from Flims. Bang on time for nine o'clock for that first lift action. I've got a jacket stashed away in the back here because it does look a bit cold at the top. I've got the various little spares. We've only got half a day of shredding to do, so I've got to go. I'll see you later. The weather has decided to turn, uh, well, mountainous, shall we say. It started raining, it's cold. But, I mean, that's where we come from. That's where we're going. And I'm gonna smash as many laps as I can. And I can't wait, because I love long lap smashing days. Right then, round one. Let's get a wriggle on to get those laps in. That one in there. These ones on there. Brunker trail, here we go. It appears to be a roadblock. Come on. There we go. Oh, hell. Rude not to. Manuel, ha! 
The Runka Trail just keeps on delivering. Right, I think this is definitively yes. The end. That's a wake up call first thing in the morning. What a long trail that was. So much fun. Definitely got the hands and the arms going. I'm cooking in this. Run one done. I need to crack on. I'll see you later. What oh, a nuts loop. We are on our way back down to the lift to get many more laps in. That was about, it was 37 minutes. It's going to be about a 40 minute ish loop. So let's see what we can get in there. We might be able to get four or five runs maybe, which would be pretty flipping good. Let's do it. Number one done, but I can't stop there, I'm afraid, because it's time to get number two in. Okay, run number two. Minimal dawdling, but I've warmed up a treat, so... Cameraman Josh. This one. That bad boys, all yours. I'll see you in a bit. then on the old giga right there the arms are feeling it uh, because i'm charging i'm not even stopping in between we're just going up coming down straight back on that lift i think four might be my limit this morning before i need to grab a bit of lunch and then after that i'm obviously gonna have to switch bikes so four runs but i mean bear in mind there's seven seven and a half k runs or something so it's a lot, it's a lot of riding that's 7.28 k call it 30 k downhill basically so that is not bad for a morning's work but can the e-bike potentially do more than that? As we're going to be riding up as well, I'm saying yes. The distance will be further, but I don't know if we'll get the same amount of runs in because of battery time, uh, time it takes to get to the top. So it's going to be really interesting. It's going to be tight, but let's have a look. <sighs> okay. This is it. I think this is going to be the last run that I'm going to manage to squeeze in on the morning stint. This is run number four. It's been fun, but I need to get down there, I need to get a bike to eat, and I need to get an e-bike. Let's crack on. Watch out, last run. Thank you. Last run, come on. have it then the fourth run done and dusted 
I have the hands to prove it. That's 30 k's worth of downhill right there. It's lunchtime. We ain't stopping around for free course dinner at the Ritz or nothing. We are cracking on to get those e-bikes to the lifts. Come on, cameraman. No dawdling. It's time to put the conventional mountain bike to rest then and grab a quick bite to eat. I'm not going to lie, I love riding that bike. It's fun, it's fast, and combined with the lift up, it's surely got to be a winning combination, right? Well, only time will tell. Let's take a look at what e-bike I'll be riding. Here it is then, the weapon of choice. A Trek rail, courtesy from the guys at Larks. Battery's charged and ready. I'm charged and ready after lunch. Let's get lapping again. The route I'll be taking on the e-bike will be a quick blast up the mountain on the fire road and then zipping straight back down the same downhill run I did in the morning on my normal bike. Nearly there then, about 100 meters to go. I'm about 60% battery left, so we should be good for another run. Okay, we've made it to the top of the first run. I have been climbing for quite a while. We are down to about 53% battery life, so about half a battery to get up here. Uh, not much pedaling to go down, but I do have to go down. So off I go for that first spin. Here we go, then e-bike time. I've just hopped off my Giga, done a big old climb. That's how e-bike roll. I mean, it was quite nice climbing. You know, it mixes up from just sitting on a chair lift, which is cool. the e-bike may have a few disadvantages because I've actually hit the limiter. So I'm pedaling, I'm putting out all the watts, but I'm not really going anywhere and the motor's not doing anything either. It's not, uh, not favourable, shall we say. Whereas on the other bike, obviously you can crack on, but obviously I'm not comparing bikes. We're comparing what you get the most riding on. So I don't think it matters too, too much, but the rain's coming as well. What's going on here? Right, straight in. Bottom of Runca Trail. Here we go. Weavy McWeaverson. Let's try and beat the rain. in. All right, let's get it done. Rop, up, up. See ya. Okay, I'm on lap number two. I've put the mileage in for sure, but the problem is I'm in, oh no, I'm in eco mode because the battery is taking a paste in. It's a big old hill climb this. Right, a depressing number on my little computer. We got about 15-ish percent left. The problem is, this is my second lap. I had to use a lot of eco in trail mode going up that time then. So it was obviously 
quite a bit more tiring. It took a little bit longer. And sadly, I don't think I'm going to have enough battery to get back up for the, for the third run. But the time on the bike is still well up there. I'll tell you just how much when I get to the bottom. But I'm going to the bottom. We're back, we're done. We're on about 12% battery left. Two big old runs. Let's take a sit down, shall we? And crunch some numbers. Look at how we got the most out of our bike park experience and see maybe which bike might be better suited to which kind of person. We're all done and dusted then, finally back at the ski lift, chilling. It's cooled down, but don't worry, I got me a hot tea, so don't panic, people. But what about those all important numbers that I've been banging on about throughout the ride then? Just which bike potentially comes out on top? Well, the normal bike, the analog bike, I got four downhill runs in today at around the eight kilometers each mark. That's just around a 30 to 32K, just going downhill. The downside to that is I spent a lot of time just sitting, chilling on a chairlift with not really much to do in between. What about the e-bike then? Well, I did two 20 kilometer loops today, so 40K-ish in total. I climbed around 1400 odd meters, and you know what? It was really good fun. I was in the saddle loads, I was riding, the amount of bike time was way higher because I didn't have to just sit around on a lift. The limiting factor though was battery life, as it kind of always is. In my four hour period, like I said, I got two loops. I wouldn't have been able to get a third loop in because my battery power was so low. So who's the winner then? What's the outcome of this little experiment of mine today? A normal bike or an e-bike? Well, I'm gonna say there is no direct winner if you like. If you want saddle time, if you wanna just go out and do big loops in the mountains and really explore, then an e-bike could be the one for traveling around that area really quickly and really making the most of that limited day if you've got in the mountains. If you are gonna go out and do a big loop as well, an added bonus on the e-bike is a lot of these mountain resorts like Larks now and Flims, they do have charging points for e-bikes. So you could get on a big epic to a point, stop for your lunch, grab a bike to eat, put your bike on charge and then carry on for the afternoon. Great stuff. If you wanna smash park laps and just get the runs in, uh, you don't really wanna have to think about charging batteries, things like that get on the normal bike. You just hop on the lift, get on up there, hammer back down, and it's great fun. Either way though, I have actually got to say, both bikes were really fun today. It was a really fun experiment to try. So they're both winners in my book. But anyway, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Don't forget, give us a little subscribe, why not? And uh, let me know if you want to see me on an e-bike a bit more in the comments, why not? Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you later.